Hi there. So today I'm gonna be working over on this kind of hillside bed. Uh, I was out here a few days ago and um, I had a beautyberry bush, which I had planted, I had planted right down there in that hole. As it's grown on since we put it in here, um, it's just gotten way too big for this spot. I really didn't have a, anywhere to move it to because we planted this beautyberry bush probably like, I don't know, six years ago. And uh, since then I've continued to put the rest of my landscape in. So there's really no place for me to put it. Um, my sister comes over and she cuts on it every season for her cut flower business. She dries the berries on there. She also sells them in uh, bouquets and then she also puts them in like wreaths and different uh, things, jewelry, dried flower jewelry uh, and lots of other things. And so she kind of uses it more than I do and I thought, you know what, I think I'm just gonna dig that out because it's getting way too big for this spot. It was creeping over the edge like three feet. So every time Nate mowed the lawn, he'd have to like shove it out of the way. And, uh, oh, thank you. Oh, he can't hear me. Uh, and anyway, so I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna dig it out and I'm gonna give it to my sister. So the other day I dug it out. It was actually so big that the drip tubing was like suffering because of it. I actually had to cut the drip tubing. One of them I accidentally cut with my shovel, uh, but the second one I actually cut on purpose because it was growing around the plant so tightly that I couldn't get it up out of the hole. So my husband came in um, and he helped me fix the drip tubing. We just went up to the hardware store and we got a few different pieces to put it back together and now it's doing fine. And that kind of brings us to today. So we'll start off there. Uh, my husband, he loaded this plant up for me and put it in my car, took it to my sister's. And while I was at my sister's, I picked up some uh, plants that she's been growing on for me for seed, some Xenia snaps and salvia, and we will take it from there. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm gonna be mowing it. <laughs> I'll clean it up. That looks really good right there. Thanks. <laughs> Are you gonna put something in place? Yeah, I'm gonna. Go, I'm going to. No. Today, I'm gonna try. At, she's growing me some zinnias, and I thought maybe I'd do a little patch of zinnias right there. For now until I figure out what um, perennial I want to put in. It looks tiny in your hands. Um, oh, I just we just so. unloaded the beauty berry at my sister's house. She's gonna go get it planted. I don't know what so, in your perennial garden. Or yeah, something? I don't know where, but somewhere over there, yeah. we're gonna do it. It'll be at a much better home. Is that lupine out there? Yeah. Do you want to see it? Thanks, Zeke. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for helping. Thanks, Thanks Scouty. Scout. Oh. <laughs> Holy I, cow! I still have to weed it. I haven't done anything. The peonies are. Oh See how they're yes. falling to the sun? Isn't that sad? Yeah. But those are gonna be nice. I'm gonna cut those. And you know what? I'm gonna see if they dry. Oh, that's a good idea. Do you think yeah. they do? Yeah. You gave me all these. Yeah, I used to have some of these in my landscape, and I liked them, but they just—they, my sister. Once and done, and then yeah, you got green for the. It's the most beautiful. Like you think this is amazing. I need this mm -hmm. in your life in the spring. And then after after they bloom, all you want to do is rip them out. I know. That's my exact experience. I couldn't have said it better myself. This Baptisia um, is amazing. I can't wait for that one. Leatris is coming. Oh, Good. so cool. Centuria. I got to weed out the lavender. Holy. Do you cut lavender? Yes, you if you don't that. want it to get like the woody... Stems. stems that's right and you got to cut it back but okay. this i got it fine yeah look at that look at that lupin oh my gosh that's it's all from seed you grew that from seed yeah it's all from seed i and they just wow. keep on a blooming look at that 
We got the purple kind. I should have done a mix. I should have. I wish I would have done a mix. That is amazing. Mm, Look purple. at those. What yeah. kind of daisy is Shasters that? Shasters are coming uh, up. I don't know. No idea. What's that? Centuria. It's blue. It's a really cool big ball yellow head. Like a oh. ball yellow ball head. It's awesome. It just keeps on coming and coming. You cut it as much as you want and it just keeps shooting. The lupin does too for a while. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I I think I might dry them all. Yeah, that I'm dries pretty, right? Yeah, really pretty. So I'm debating on making bouquets next week for market with lupin and shasta. Yeah. Or drying it. I'm not sure yet. Gosh, it almost it's probably almost worth your your buck drying it, right? That's what I'm thinking. It dries so good. That color too. I love that purple color. Yeah. Oh, the lavender smells wonderful. This we actually is doing okay. The daisies though, isn't that pretty? Yeah. They're finally popping. <laughs> Man, that's heavy. Do you want to pull it, Scout? Okay, let's go figure out where we're going to plant this thing. So basically, this is all full pond. Yeah. Yeah. like my row you know what I mean yeah so obviously I have to dig all this out but how much where should I plant it like here yeah. giving it enough room from that I think so yeah you know what I mean? how big the baptisia gets pretty big right yeah you're right so well I cut on it like I keep cutting yeah on it I so think right there more? would be fine yeah right there would be probably be fine okay so that's where we're gonna plant it we'll dig our whole first before, okay right yeah so okay that's where we're gonna plant it yay it's new home so now i'm back and i'm left with this giant space right here and kind of a mess this bed needs some desperate care uh, i've got weeds growing up in here some just grass weeds and then uh this monarda is kind of spreading throughout which i kind of don't mind so i'm gonna leave that but I wanna come in here and clean up all the different weeds that are in here. Maybe clean up these nephofi a little bit more. Uh, I gotta cut the suckers off this tree and also trim up this weeping cherry tree. And I also want to clean up this little area right here. Uh, this is getting a little bit unruly for me. You can't even tell anymore really the racks that are supposed to be uh, containing this so i'll probably go in dig some of this up and plant it somewhere else nate's cleaning my car out for me uh there's some wild goldenrod in there i gotta get just some little weeds here and there and then i want to plant some zinnias in here so i've got all those zinnias right there I'm going to plant on this hill side uh, until I figure out like what kind of permanent perennial I want to put in here. So that's what we're going to be working on today. These are the other plants I picked up while I was at my sister's house. This is all I could fit in my car, but I've got two trays of Victoria Blue Salvia. I got two more at my sister's house. And these are three trays of Chantilly Lace Snapdragons. These are like the prettiest, most fluffy snapdragons you've ever seen so I'm pretty excited about these so we'll just walk through here because I cleaned this out the other day and it feels so good to have it cleaned up so last <laughs> night I was uh, coming out to get a late night snack <laughs> uh, before bed and Max was like squeaking up a storm I didn't know what was going on I'm like what are you doing bud like, what are you squeaking at? So he sits up there and stares out that sliding window there because I've got a bird feeder up there and then also I feed the, uh, let's be honest, the squirrels and the chipmunks. 
not on purpose, but that's who eats it. And he loves to sit out there and watch them for hours. He'll just sit out there for hours and watch them. Well, he was squeaking a different squeak than I had heard him squeak before. And I was like, what's going on, buddy? I looked out and the raccoon from Raccoon Alley decided to come up on our deck and try to eat the suet cake out of the bird feeder. And Max was freaking out. So that, ooh. <sighs> Okay, whew. Right when I said that, a chipmunk went like right across my path. Sorry, I was a little bit taken aback by that. But anyway, Max is freaking out just like I am right now over a chipmunk. And it was pretty crazy. So they had a little stare down. They kind of, you know, hiked their backs up at each other a little bit. And I was like, all right, this is getting a little nuts. We're gonna have to move the suet cake. <laughs> All right, so let's get to pulling these weeds. Will you bet that you for me a squall when you come home I'm drinking and can barely crawl and all that loving on me won't make things right Will you leave me home to keep the TV clean? Six pale blues is a breaking wean. Will your squall is on the warpath tonight? I found out, big brave chief, the game you're hunting for ain't me. Get off of my hunting grounds and get out of my sight. This award is I'm doing means a fighting man. You don't need no more what you already had. Your squall is on the warpath better and I probably I think when I first planted this sedum in here it filled in like the fall the next year and I've never had to do that before that was the first time I've actually like ripped a ton of stuff out and uh, moved the rocks so it's it's not like this is high maintenance area or anything like that like that's literally the first time I've ever had to do that and I have a ton of leftover sedum this is a beautiful sedum and I also have some in, I had to go get this other container but got tons of it in here that I could go put somewhere else. It gets a very pretty uh, yellow bloom on it and it's just got this really pretty like blue icy foliage on it and it's uh, evergreen which is awesome. So anyway, got tons of that I could put somewhere else. I left that little chunk in there because I thought it looked pretty. And that is poison ivy. So I'll have to get a little bag and get that out. But trimmed up the suckers. And I trimmed up this tree. I don't want to prune it too much up top yet because there is a, a baby bird living in there. I don't want to get too close and uh, mess around this tree too much. So now what I'm going to do is go down here and clean up this crime scene down here. <laughs> and get these zinnias planted. I decided I am going to pinch them back. I uh, I feel like some of them are pretty tall, like that one is pretty tall, and I feel like it would just benefit uh, from a nice pinch back right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not really sure if that's the right choice or not, but that's what we're gonna do. Let's get these guys planted. 
And then I'm just gonna plant them in this entire section right here. And we'll see how far we get. I'm really excited because I've never actually planted uh, zinnias in here before. This has always just been kind of like a leftover, like almost like a dump bed that I have just uh, lingered over plants that I've got for on clearance. And so it, there's really no rhyme or reason to this bed at all. Uh, so I'm just gonna plant these in here until I figure out what I wanna do with this bed. I'll probably see, if I have any extra ones, I might ask my neighbor if she wants some. I think she usually plants zinnias, although she probably grew her own from seed this year. Lots of roots in here from that beauty berry. So I'm having to dig those out as I go. But it's getting a little out of hand over here. going to continue planting these on this hillside and we'll see you back when I'm done. Will that bear water that you've been drinking makes you feel big but cheap your shrink and seems that you've been all my love making you die. Will don't give me that old piece pie. There ain't no pot that can settle the spot your squall is on. I'm all done and I ended up planting one plug tray of the zinnias. I've got like maybe four or five plants left in the one plug tray so I have a whole nother plug tray of them left and I don't know if I told you what kind they were but I'm doing the whirly gig ones. I've never done that kind before. I usually do the binary. We'll see how these ones do but I heard they're pretty awesome so uh yeah I'll flip you around and we'll take a look. They're all planted in here in a nice big drift. So I'm hoping that provides us with lots of color 
and I can cut on them all summer long. I did end up cleaning this bed up quite a bit and I pulled all the weeds out of here which is nice. We don't have any mulch on here yet. We're looking to get that this week yet. But I've got some uh, Siberian iris in here that are about to uh, probably bloom here in the next couple weeks. I've got some oriental poppy that are probably going to bloom in the next couple weeks along with coneflower, uh, some sedum. This is a hydrangea I put in last year. I got on clearance. I can't remember. Little quick fire hydrangea. Let's see. That uh, I think is a weed. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's a weed. Crap. I should have pulled that. And this is a flax and that's the same flax right there i think that's also a weed so i did miss a couple weeds in there but i ended up cleaning up this little half moon shape with uh the rock that looks a lot better in there i ended up cleaning the suckers off this tree and pruning it up which i want to prune the top of it too but like i said i gotta wait for that bird to kind of take flight and do its thing and here I usually plant more annuals, so I'll plant in either, I don't know, impatiens or big begonia once I get those. I uh, ended up cleaning up this little sedum bed and fixing the rock, so that looks a lot more tidy and neat. And I ended up leaving like one little chunk of sedum right there. I thought it looked kind of cool. I don't want it to go crazy in here, but that little guy is, is fine. I did also leave some volunteer hosta that grew in here. So there's three volunteer hosta. I'm just going to leave them in here until I decide where I want to put them. But I think this area looks a lot better. Uh, it doesn't block your line of sight, but still when those zinnias grow up, they'll be nice and tall and pretty and colorful uh, until I find what I want to put there permanently. And just an update on this section, I am loving how this is looking. So I came in here and pulled out uh, a massive astobe that was right there. And you can already see it's starting to fill in. I just like the, the mulch in between there. I pulled out a massive astobe that was right there. And all these little hosta do this every year they see themselves in here. But... Uh, next year, I'll probably come in and split this little chunk up and uh, do the same thing just so it, it kind of has a little bit more space like those Minutemans. Those are, uh, or not, those aren't Minuteman, those are uh, wide brims. Those are still starting to fill out. This is looking a lot better too. That still be will be nice there. These are starting to fill out nicely. I still have a bunch of plants to plant so I'll be working on finding a spot for these uh, at some point but I've got lots of uh, snapdragons, blue salvia which I want to put some of those around my mailbox and then this uh, zinnia I'll have to find a spot for too maybe up near the rose garden. My plan was to plant um, over here in my raised beds. Usually I put vegetables over here uh, so that was my plan to make these like a this a cut flower garden instead of vegetables but I haven't had any time to move any of these plants out yet <laughs> these this is just a holding bed for some of these plants I wintered over so as soon as I get these plants I uh, put somewhere else which is probably what I should work on next I already know where those Aurelia are going those two yellow ones I know where those are going and I could I can plant the heuchera no problem find a spot for those uh, so I could, you know, I could figure something out. So that's probably what I'll end up doing next is cleaning out these beds so that I can plant a little cut flower garden in here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you're just having a blessed day and just enjoying uh, every breath that you have. And I hope that this kind of inspired you. You know, that was a really big bush that I loved at one point. But, you know, now years later, it's not really serving me any purpose and it's okay to dig it out. Uh, I think sometimes we get attached to things and we think like, oh, I can't dig that out. I've had this for this long or this person gave it to me or 
you know, it's just like years go on and your garden kind of evolves and takes different shapes and it means different things to you at different times. And so at this moment in time, it made more sense to give that beautiful bush to my sister who is going to utilize it every day in her business that she has uh, instead of it taking up tons of room here and annoying Nate every time he drives by here on the lawnmower. <laughs> uh, so this will be kind of nice. I traded her a beauty bush and she gave me these beautiful zinnias and at this, I just thought about this right now but um, this is the first thing I've planted in my garden uh, besides the stuff that the hasa that I dug up and, and transplanted. But this is the first new plant for 2023 that I planted this year and it was for my sweet sister. So thank you, Coco. I love you so much. All right. Well, have a great day. Bye.